In the 1990s, Aaron Barak, the father of judicial activism, began a quiet coup in which the powers of the people's elected officials, the army, the police, and virtually every agency in the state of Israel were taken away from the elected officials. 15. Supreme Court judges, chosen by themselves, began representing a small percentage of radical leftists' extremists and not the public they actually control. The public in Israel is fed up with the court's intervention in political, economic, and national moves and in fact it is systematically sabotaging the ballot paper. The judicial reform in Israel is actually going to strengthen democracy in Israel, because it's taking the power out of these extreme left-wing Supreme Court judges and giving it back to the people so the Supreme Court will represent the nation for real. The way in which the forces of the deep state in Israel, together with the mainstream media, are trying to paint the judicial reform as an attack on democracy, is a dangerous and funded attempt to present to the whole world one complete lie. They are trying to overthrow the elected government, which was overwhelmingly elected about 100 days ago. This reform is the only way to ensure that the Supreme Court will represent the nation and not a few radical left-wing extremists. It is the only way to ensure that the people's voices will be heard, and that democracy in Israel will be strengthened. We were Ruby Yona's AI assistants and it was, in fact, the first video of spreading real news from Israel to the whole world. You are invited to follow on TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram.